What's up, everyone? It is your girl, Shelby Beauty, 7 here, AK Grace, and it's time for another new makeup release, honey. So, put myself on over to this side, and we can get into it. So, before we get, oh, wait, child, I don't have nothing on my lips. I just realized I ate it off earlier, and I just got up and came here. So let me get some cute moisturization going on. We're going to use this Sigma Renew Lip Oil. And then currently having their, uh, what is it, spring sales event. So you can get this on a great deal. These are nice and hydrating. So I'm not trying to do too much because it's just new makeup releases. But, you know, so it's got eyes that I think we should have some lips in. Make sure you use code SPRING and you can get 40% off the entire website. Nice little cute mauve color moment. Okay, now let's actually get into it. Because we can't be up here with crusty lips, okay? We can't do that. Um, so the first thing I have to talk about, I meant to talk about this last week and forgot my bad. Um, they have already dropped these all these short tilbury beautiful skin island glow easy tanning drops. So the picture I had doesn't have that much information on them, but um, I do have a code and a link with Charlotte Tilbury if anybody's interested. It's all my links and stuff are in the description box and all my codes so you know what I have a code to if you're interested in purchasing. Like, a lot of people don't know I have a code with the brand Sniff, the fragrance company. So I have a code for 10% off if you're into fragrances like I am. You can use my code GRACE10 and get 10% off. So I got a few little codes people don't even know about. I'll be out here, you know, hustling to get these codes, girl. To help save y'all some money instead of always having to send y'all to use somebody else's code. <laughs> but next I have the Clarity Cosmetics. This is super old, I'm sorry. The Euphoria palette. I dropped on their website already. It's 48 bucks. I think that it's just a pre-order now. I didn't check up on it again to find out. I was going to do what do you really need on this one or why you don't need video. Because I have a palette in mind to me that looks similar to this. And one of y'all had asked me about it. So, like, I filmed the intro, but I haven't filmed the eye look yet. So, um, hopefully I'll have it filmed by the time this goes up. And I can just refer you back to that video. But, yeah. Um... This one I wasn't that crazy about because it just looks like stuff I already have. Plus, I don't know, the color story just isn't doing it for me. Like, I don't know what it is about. Some, it's something missing in it that's not doing it for me. So, needless to say, I'm not buying it. But, you know, if you're interested in it, I hope you picked it up. Where is it? Oh, so, of course, y'all already saw me talk about this. This is the... The Manny... Uh, sorry, the Lunar Beauty... Moon Shroom Collection. Y'all saw me post my video on why you didn't need the palette. So, I got the information up here about the palette. And then I'll show the information about, you know, why you don't need the palette up here and whatnot. But it launched Friday. This is Saturday night I'm filming this. At 12 p.m., the palette was $48. The highlighter palette was $36. The lip glosses were $17 each. And I think the bundle was $108. My girl Babs Beauty here on YouTube has a cold with... Lunar Beauty, so if you needed a discount code, you can use code Babs Beauty and you can get it's 10 or 15% off. Don't quote me, I'm not sure. I want to say it's 15, but don't quote me because I don't know. And you can get all these lovely things. So, next, Kylie has come out with a mascara for Kylie Cosmetics. It's the Wisps Lash Mascara, it's supposed to give length and lift. Get long lifted and fanned out lashes featuring a clean and vegan formula. Weightlessly builds, gives ultra separation, and provides feathery, wispy lashes. It doesn't clump and offers up to 24 hours of length and curl without flaking or smudging. Waterproof and matte black mascara. So, it's only in the UK now. It's not, sorry, it's only in Europe now. It's not in America yet. But, you know, if you were interested in it, I'm figuring maybe it'll come to America soon. It says this will be coming to their website and other retailers soon, so it just launched in the, um, in Europe first. But okay, next Too Faced continues launching stuff, so they have new shades of lipsticks, lip balms, and eyeliners. 
So they have the Hangover Pillow Talk Balm Ultra Hydrating Lip Balm. I really like that product, but I haven't used it in ages. These new colors look nice, though. They have Very Vanilla, which is sparkly. I can see myself using that one. They have Pink Mint, which is sparkly. And then they have Cranberry Crush. And it doesn't say if it's sparkly, so I'm going to assume it's not sparkly. And then they have these Lady Bold Cream Lipsticks. And they're $29 each. They have one called Committed, which is a dusty mauve rose. It's a nice shade I would wear. There's Dear Diary, which is a medium pink nude. There's Hopelessly Devoted, which is a warm, hot pink. I don't know why that just made me think about Grease when Olivia Newton-John sings that song, Hopelessly Devoted. And then they have Power Move, which is an electric blue pink. There's Main Character, which is a neon berry. I've never heard of a neon berry. That sounds intriguing, though. And then there's Upgrade, which is a Rich Berry. I think I didn't take a picture of where it said what the eyeliners were, so my bad. I can't tell you what the eyeliners are because it doesn't have it here. But there's a gray one, and then there's a um, cranberry colored one. The cranberry colored one looks interesting. The like grayish beige one isn't as interesting to me. Or is that supposed to be a, are these, yeah, I think that's an eyeliner, like killer liners. Yeah. So I don't have the price on those, I'm sorry. I think they're like $24, so again, don't quote me. Next, ColourPop has gloss, balms, and lip liners coming out. So it says, a, a new additions to the So Juicy family, plumping lip products. Since everybody wants to do a plumping lip product now, it makes sense that they would add themselves in the running for these plumping lip products. I'm surprised they didn't do it sooner because other brands came out with them and they're just coming out with them now. It's like Elf got in front of it, which I'm shocked because I, since I thought their factory was like here in America, it wouldn't take them as long to make it, but apparently I was wrong. Anyways, the So Juicy lip Sorry, the So Juicy Plumping Gloss Balms are $10, and they come out on the, I believe it said the 28th, yeah. Uh, it's 3-in-1 combines the benefits of a plumping lip product with the hydration of a lip balm and the shine of a gloss. Lip boosting activates like hyaluronic acid, ginger, and peptides, moisturizing and smoothing lip lines infused with pepper and leaves your palate with a tingle, but refreshing, hydrating plump that doesn't feel sticky. So they have Vake Mo, which is a pinky nude, Guava Glaze, which is a watermelon pink, Dolled Up, which is a cool tone true pink, Doe, which is a warm nude, PSL, which is a warm terracotta, and Berry Spritz, which is a deep berry plump. I can see myself grabbing all these if they have a bundle of them for like 50 bucks, because it's six of them. So I feel like they would do like a $50 bundle where it's like basically you buy the majority and you get like one free or something, or maybe like 48, something like that. And then they have these So Juicy Lip Plumping Liners. Now, I don't care about the lip liner being plumping or not. They have a chocolate brown one in the shade Rich Brown. So, I, I'd probably grab that one just to say we tried it. But, um, this is a long-lasting, defends and visibly plumps lips with velvety, tingly formula that glides on effortlessly. Peptides and ginger and peppermint help plump the look of lips and visibly smooth lines. So, they have the shade Love That, which is a soft nude, nudie pink. Tease, which is a light warm nude. Westwood, which is a neutral mauve pink. Group Chat, which is a rosy pink. ETA, which is a deep rose. Jaguar, which is a neutral mid-tone nude. Slay, which is a warm brown. And then Mocha Latte, which is a rich chocolate brown. So, I can see myself grabbing Slay and that one. But I think I'd just go with Chocolate Latte because, you know... This will be a plumping lip liner. It might not be very comfortable, and I'm not trying to know. Okay, so next, this I found on Juliet has a gun, not a perfumes um, Instagram page before it came to uh, Sephora. So they're trying to get you to pre-order it on their website and make it seem as if it wasn't coming to Sephora. And then on National Fragrance Day, it showed up at Sephora with a lot of other fragrances I had been wanting to try. So this is, by the way, I should have named what it was. It's the shade called Juliet. And it's supposed to be um, sensual whispers of dark chocolate and pink pepper ignite the rhythm. The floral jasmine joins the dance embraced by the bewitched tonka beans spinning around her neck. With a single glance, Juliet snaps her fingers and claims her prey. So those are supposed to be the notes that go along in this. Remember, I grabbed this from their website. I didn't do it where I normally do. I grabbed it from Sephora. But they have three different sizes. So they have, you know, their standard um 
I think $34 one and then they have some other sizes I'll have um I'll try to have some information pop up over here from Sephora as well in addition to what I just read off but that's what I had at the time I'm reading it so that's what gonna go with girl okay so I'm interested it is in my cart for the Sephora sale I'm actually filming my Sephora wishlist video after I film this video and then I have a fragrance video a couple of fragrance videos to do and then I'm going um, do my Sephora recommendations video another day because I didn't pack up any of that stuff even though I could just post pictures and not pack it so we'll see how I'm feeling after this but I'm just trying to get all my commentary done tonight since I did like six eye looks today and I don't feel like being bothered anymore yes I did six colorful versus muted videos because I had a drawer full of stuff that was waiting but I hadn't gotten a chance to film any of it so I had gave all those video ideas for you all every week to see what was coming but I hadn't actually filmed a lot of the eye looks so I had to catch up on that girl Oh, honey, I'm child. That's how I ended up missing my my premiere for my Colorful versus Muted today because I fell asleep after filming all those and trying to edit. It was a lot, girl, and I've been up to like 8:55 this morning, and I'm not an early morning riser at all. So you're gonna have to give me some grace. Ha! Okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop being lame now. Next thing we have the what are these? The Give Beauty Dewy Plump Collagen Boosting Cheek Tints. They also have lip tints as well, but. For some reason, it's only showing the cheek tints. I found the lip tints on their, I guess it's lip tints or their lip glosses. Let me go check on Sephora real quick because I saw those two. Uh, yeah. yeah, so they have col Dewy Plumping Collagen Lip Gels as well. And there are six shades of those. And they're available now. I didn't know they were available yet. So they have a bright pink one that looks fun. It's called Peony. Then they have Hibiscus, which is a mauve pink. Then they have Marigolds, which is a coral. They have, what is it, Bouquet, which is a pink. So they have lots of pinks. They have Irish, which is a, like a sorry, Purple Irises, which is a purple. And then they have Nightshade, which is a berry tone shade. Let's read what it is. It says it is a collagen supporting non-sticky tinted lip gel for soft hydrated lips and it's hydrating and long wearing let's see infuse your lips with this collagen supported lip gel the gel to gloss formula gives you tinted color and shimmer in one quick swipe it contours the lips with a three-dimensional effect with visible color and hydration while ultra lifting spheres smooth and hydrate lips and this retails for 24 dollars so i was interested in one shade just because you know since she always comes up with a unique formula to herself when she does do what other people do that's what i that's one of the things i do appreciate about her brand i'm possibly interested in that and then all the um blush colors as you see over here are matching the lip colors now the blushes are two dollars more so they're 26 dollars let's read what they say it says a collagen supported cheek tint that lasts all day so it says give by Gwen Stefani's do plump collagen boosting cheek tint features cutting edge collagen supporting ingredients and offers buildable radiant tinted color for cheeks. Now I don't know how I feel about tinted color for cheeks. However, I was thinking maybe I would get one of these two and maybe just get like a matching set. So like buy one color that I feel like works best for my skin tone and then buy the lip color to match it and see how that goes. So I'm either looking at Nightshade, which is the berry tone one on there, or Hibiscus, which is the mauve tone shade. Because I feel like those are the ones that work best for someone my skin tone. But definitely interested in um, possibly trying these out. It would be those or the Marigold one. I'm thinking the Marigold one because I don't have any orange like lip tinted product. The only thing is I have like orange blushes and I don't want to like switch it up but at the same time I'm like maybe I should. I don't know we'll see about this but it, it has already launched it said coming soon but I just went to the website and it would let me buy it right now so there you go. Oh my god y'all these Dior blushes. Oh my goodness y'all these Dior blushes. Honey when I saw these Dior blushes I was like shut up and take my money throw it in the bag I don't need to hear anything else. I don't need to know anything else just give me the blush hand it over right now so they have a whole summer 2024 collection it comes with two eyeshadow palettes coral flame and pastel glow it has addicted lip tint and natural hibiscus it has rosy glow blush for $40 and it has one in pink lilac and um poppy 
coral and then bronzed glow. So they're coming out with a third bronzing one. The only thing is the pictures I've seen, nobody's showing the bronze one. So I don't know if, you know, what's going on with that and why nobody's showing that one. But everybody's only showing the two lighter shades, as y'all see right here from what I'm showing. And that's kind of making me feel some type of way. And then there's like this highlighter. So I don't know if this highlighter is old or new. Let me check the rest of my information. Oh, no. The, uh... It's Forever Glow Maximizer in the shade Nude. So it is new. And then there's two nail polishes in Lemon Glow and Pastel Mint. So I'm interested in possibly, um, I'm getting a highlighter during the sale. And if I like it, then maybe I'll look to these highlighters in the future. But I just didn't rush out to get the highlighter because I didn't care. But I'm getting both these blushes. We already know. I need all the Dior blushes and the cute little containers. I'm getting these blushes. My only thing is I want to see what's the difference between this core and the original core they have. And I'm liking the fact that people are coming out with purple blush. I think that's kind of cool. I, I'm ready for them to get away from the pink. I'm tired of the pink. So purple is cute. And it will go nice with my purple eye look. So I'm here for it. Anyway, the battery is flashing now, honey. So I'm going to go get my life in order. We only have like three or four more things to talk about. And then, you know, I'll be good and we'll be done. So I'll be right back. Okay, girl? Okay. Okay, y'all. So on to this next thing. So, Made by Mumu Mitchell continues to launch stuff. So, he got more new products. And I, we just talked about, like, I think two products he had last week. And now it's two more this week. So, now he has these Bronze Pod Dome Bronzers. And they're $19. It says, leave a silk-like sheen over your base makeup to merge a seamless transaction across the cheeks in 10 shades for all skin tone. That's an interesting way to describe bronzer, but okay. And then it has the Curvy Case Collection XL Cream Blusher Palette. That's $78. And it's just like this giant blush palette that looks like it folds over. I'm hoping they just pose one behind the other one. And it's not one that literally folds over like this. Because I feel like there'd be a lot and it's like, would it really be sanitary like that? Okay, yeah, so it's just... um. Yeah, I was right. They just stuck one behind the other in that picture that you're looking at. Because I was like, confused. Like, wait, what? It says 24 blush shades from soft muted pinks to neon oranges and corals. So, yeah, as usual, I don't plan on getting any of this. The bronzer does look somewhat interesting, but I just don't. I feel like I have enough bronzer. And if I order this from Beauty Bay, it could possibly show up broken. Because they, when their stuff shows up broken, when it's baking, they don't want to, um answer your messages don't want to give your money back they want to play dumb and all that and i don't have time for that so um if he has it when he has 50 percent off box sale then maybe i would pick it up in one of those like eyeshadow palettes but that's not gonna be till like 2025 and i figure i won't care by then and i might have forgotten by then but i don't know like i said lately i i don't know what's going on with his brand but i ain't been feeling like the launches they've been coming in with so i'm kind of just like hmm. so i'm good but you know do you or whatever Next, I have the Armani Beauty's New Mania Summer 2024 collection. It's supposed to be released in limited quantities on April 19th. And it says it has to-go cushion case in nude pink. It has the Lip Maestro Satin Pink Edition in four new colors and two existing colors. So, Weekend Getaway is an existing color. It says Central Neutral Nude. Live Concert is a Sophisticated Brick Nude. And it's an existing color. Then there's Spring Stroll, which is a Neutral Rosewood Pink. Opening Dance, which is a Sophisticated Blush Pink. And Cocktail Party, which is a Warm and Lush... Lux, sorry, lush, Luscious. Why I'm so difficult to say right now. Berry Pink. So, those come out on the 19th. I'm not really interested in that either. I mean, they look like they're nice lip colors. It's just, y'all know I'm not a person who's crazy about lip colors. If it's by certain brands whose formula I know I love, then okay. But it's like, from what I remember about trying the lip maestros, I wasn't really impressed with them. So, it's like, it doesn't make me want to go out and try some more. Next, we have this um, collab with Wicked and One Size. Patrick Starr's brand so he has a whole collection coming out with them it was this cute little fan brush that looked like a broom I'll give him that that was too cute so the off the handle complexion brush is $34 apparently that's supposed to be a complexion brush I don't know it just looks like a fan brush to me then there's the unlimited eye and face palette because he's done another one of those the color story is eh, it's okay like 
I don't know what it is when he makes color swords for eyeshadow palettes. I'm just never truly impressed by them. I'm just like, oh, okay, that's nice. Um, then there's the Define Gravity Spotlight Highlighter. I was looking at that and thinking about getting that possibly because I wanted to get the highlighter from the Mickey Mouse collection. I ended up not getting it because I do want to try his highlighter formula because I tried his blushes and his bronze. The only thing I haven't tried is highlighter, but he doesn't really launch highlighter unless it's like a special edition collection, which I don't understand, but whatever. I'm wondering if this highlighter is going to be similar to the one that came out in the Mickey Mouse collection, though, for the people that, you know, um, what do you call it? For the people that, um, do have the Mickey Mouse highlighter. I'm wondering if it's going to be the same color as that and if they buy and need highlighters to collect from his brand they're going to be pissed off because it's the same shade. But since I don't have it, I'll, po I'll possibly pick it up. We'll have to wait and see. It doesn't say when it's coming out, so I don't know. Next, they have the Popular Glitter Setting Spray, which is $32. So it's just basically the... Um, and the one in the pink container, the um, mattifying one that goes that went really viral and everybody really likes, is that one with glitter in it. I'm assuming that's what's going on with this. But yeah, so um, only thing so far I'm interested in is the highlighter and really nothing else. And then I got a picture showing y'all about the glitter. It's like it looks like it's pink glitter that you spray on your face, and I don't know how I feel about having a glitter highlighter. I feel like if you go to raves and stuff like that, then maybe you would be more interested in the highlighter then. But it's like as a general rule, you know, like you don't want to be walking around with um a highlighter or whatever. At least I don't. Maybe it's just me, but I'm not really trying to walk around with glitter on my face unless it's like in an actual highlighter. So. A few fragrances are launching right now too, so I'm gonna end with the fragrances and do the rest of the makeup real quick. So next, they have these new, the Nage New Lip Glowy Balms. So a lightweight, moisture-rich lip balm with shea and murmur seed butters for extra soft, hydrating lips. They're eighteen dollars a piece. They have one in sweet candy and they have one in vanilla. Now, I would try the one in vanilla, but y'all know I just have to think about vanilla. I don't know what's up with me and vanilla. I love vanilla. I love vanilla fragrances. I love vanilla lip products. I just like vanilla, okay? I think vanilla smells nice. I feel like it's a classic, simple scent that would smell good on anyone. So I like vanilla. I like vanilla my products. The way Angie loves orange is the way I love vanilla, okay? So I I might get the vanilla one during the sale. We have to see when it comes out. It says it's coming soon. It's not out yet, so we just have to wait and see what's going on with that. Because I haven't bought one of these lip... Um, glowy bombs in a while but since they have a classic vanilla one finally I, I might just have to go out there and try it okay so rare beauty is supposed to be launching um soft pinch luminous powder blushes in six shades it's coming to sephora on the 28th so i will be trying to pick up some of those too my thirsty self uh, that's when I'm gonna go pick up the highlighter. I'm gonna just pick up one highlighter and one blush at the same time. Since her products don't cost that much, I'll buy them before the sale to let you know if you should buy them during the sale. So I'll take that hit, you know. It's not as much as it could be. So let me see. It says Incredible Smooth and Weightless. This powder blush gives a pinch perfect flush that seems to radiate from within. Its highly pigmented base is packed with shimmering pearls for natural dimension that's easy to blend build or diffuse for a softer effect without ever looking chalky or ashy and so there's six shades we have the shade cheer i hear that's a custom shade that was made for selena then there's hope happy joy love and truth so i'm thinking i want to pick up the shade truth because it's like a deeper glowyish berry type shade or maybe the shade Happy, depending on how I feel it looks like on some of my skin tone. And then the highlighter I told y'all I was going to get was the, um, the copper one, if you all remember. I don't remember if that's revealed or reflect, but, yeah, so I'll get those two when they first launch. I'm showing y'all all different pictures, because I found, like, several different pictures. I found people who found them in store and, like, swatched them all on their arm. Then I found just the picture of the blushes coming out soon. Then I found like this promo picture that you're seeing. So I've shown you like two or three different pictures by the time I was sitting here talking, girl. But point is, I'm going to get one. So next we have the um the new Miss Dior Parfum. It is a fruity and sorry, it's a florally and fruity bouquet with notes of jasmine, amber woods, and mandarin. So um I don't know how I feel about this. I've tried Miss Dior, the original one. I liked it okay. I don't know how I feel about this new Miss Dior situation. But, you know, 
if they have it in store when I go to pick up my um, Rare Beauty blushes, because I'm going to try to make sure I send them to the Sephora, I can go in and pick up so I can swatch all of them for you all and determine if I bought the right one, if I need to buy another one during the sale or whatnot. So, uh, yeah, but I will definitely do all swatches and we can see what's going on, who all over there and all that good stuff there. But, yeah, um, so... Let's end on this exciting note. So, Miss Jackie Ina has trading candles for fragrances right now because we haven't seen any candles recently. And I noticed all the candles are going out of Sephora. So, I don't know if she's just turning into fragrances now and leaving the candles behind. I'm not exactly sure. Either way, um, these fragrances sound interesting and exciting to me. And I'm over here like, yes, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. So, so far she has teased three fragrances. I don't know if it's going to be more than three. Or she's just starting off with these three signature ones. But there's one called I Am Her. It doesn't say what the notes are in I Am Her. And I don't think I saw them on Sephora. Because these don't launch till February. Sorry, these don't launch till April the 2nd. And when I went to go check on Forever Mood on Alta. I mean on Sephora they were nowhere to be found so i'm not sure what the notes are let's go see if i can check a website real quick and see but yeah so i'm definitely interested in getting some of these and seeing how this is about to work out real quick so they have where you can sign up for early access so I'm like, hmm, maybe I should, people. I don't know, they, they want my, I don't know about that now, they want my um, information. Okay, so it's not showing any information on the fragrances on here right now so i don't have anything on the i am her fragrance because it didn't say any notes i'll check jackie's page real quick just to see but okay so i am her it's red velvet pear raspberry and old that's what's in this one and then the next one i saw what well, good she has sample size because i was like i don't i don't know if i want to buy this huge one and see but the next one is hard to get and it has lemon jasmine and whipped vanilla i can see myself getting the hard to get one for sure that other one i don't know y'all know i'm not really a floral girl so, I'm not sure. I'm not really into um, certain things. But I might, I hope she has a sampler set where you can try all three of the fragrances. That would be best for everyone. And the last one is, you remind me. And it's apricot skin, orange floral, and sensual musk. So, these sound interesting. And I'm definitely um, interested in trying them. So, I'm going to try to grab them as soon as I can. Because, you know. Why not? I definitely am going to try them for sure. But I just, you know. I'm just so excited for her. Because she said she's been working on this since 2020. And you know, that, that's a good like four years. So her working on this for four years was definitely a passion project. And I am excited to see what is going to come of these fragrances and if we're gonna get more fragrances or not but that's what we ended this video on girl i should have tried trend mood while i was on there to see if it was anything else i guess i will since i'm here you're here we're all here um i don't see anything else new that i had already talked about besides like the penis lipstick and i just don't want to even get into the penis lipstick so we're not going to do that um yeah. Oh, and Nicki Minaj decided she needs to sell fake nails. I, I'm. We not even touching that. Okay. You have a. You have a great night. And be blessed. We're not. We're not doing that. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl.